अगर मैं आपको कहूं कि मैं आपके लिए द मोस्ट वैल्यू फॉर मनी पीसी बिल्ड के पार्ट्स बताऊंगा तो आप क्या कहोगे आप कुछ मत करो ये वीडियो देख लो नाउ दिस पीसी इज एन अटेम्प्ट टू अपील टू ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ यूजर्स गेमर्स स्ट्रीमर्स कंटेंट क्रिएटर्स कोडर्स आर्किटेक्ट्स सब कुछ सबके लिए ये पीसी अच्छा चलेगा ये मेरा गारंटी बाय द वे अ ह्यूज डिस्क्लेमर every use case actually requires a different kind of configuration they can never be one size fits all but well let's begin now, starting off with the processor the processor has to be 12400f six cores 12 threads now look at those benchmarks now this really outperforms the last generation of i9 in terms of single core performance with the pricing it's lesser than 5600x which if you recall a year ago was the go to processor for everything it's the best six core processor money can buy and that too for around 16 16k मतलब बहुत सस्ता है फॉर द परफॉर्मेंस इज गिविंग यू जेन फाइव पीसीआई सपोर्ट है डीडीआर फाइव सपोर्ट है इट्स सो पावरफुल दैट इवन 3090 विल रन विदाउट अ बॉटल नेक द बी सिक्स सिक्स जीरो एम डी एस थ्री एच एक्स डी डी आर फोर विल द बेस्ट बोर्ड टू ऑफ फॉर डेज वाई फाइव सिक्स रन्स ब्लू टू टू पॉइंट फाइव जी लैंड एंड फाइनली टू एक्स जेन फोर एस डी स्लॉट से जोड़ Now moving ahead for the cooler 1200F may be an i5 but it's very thermally optimized you will not be needing an aftermarket cooler and interest to saving cost we probably don't need it as well now talking about the gpu since we are already trying to build that will fit all criterias no compromises on the gpu we are going with the 3060 ti gddr6 memory 8gb vram comparable performance to the 2080 super and the rtx 3070 now kind of like best price to performance ratio wala gpu hai this will handle 2k medium to high end 2k gaming and rendering performance it's the best in the price segment that it is now 2k ultra gaming benchmarks are on your screen talking about ram and storage now these things are actually subjective subjective in the sense ki aapke use ke hisab se ye badal sakta hai sirf basic excel baji ke liye rgb kafi hota hai so 16 gb is kind of a safer option for most and almost all use cases high end gaming ho gaya software which require 12 plus gb like adobe suite thrive on the extra ram 32 GB of RAM if you are willing to splurge, but of course it can always be upgraded. Any reputable brand should be good. G Skill Corsair, A Data, T Force, Bagheera, Bagheera. On the storage front, you should be actually looking at a 500 GB NVMe and a 1 TB SSD combo. Now the NVMe is for storing your OS, your main applications or the main game that you are playing, and the SSD is the backup and the dump drive. Now when you put a system like this together, your motherboard still has an extra NVMe slot for expansion, so you can compromise on the SSD and actually add another SSD here. Talking about the power. supply like we always tell you we're going to be saying add up all the complete power draw and multiply that by 1.5 times uh, it's a good idea to go for gold now talking about the case now on the basis of pure value the cooler master k501 kind of ticks all the boxes 360 mm aio thoda full dual rgb or full atx motherboard support the only downside so to say wo bhi subjective cheez hai is aesthetics is not the most well good looking good design case but it ticks all the boxes so having said all of that if you're still confused try reaching out to us on support at dmgp.in or on our socials and we'll help you with professional consultants thank you for watching like share and subscribe